So for us here in Idaho, our stay at home order expired on April 30th. So as of yesterday, we are now on phase one of reopening our state. And so many of our retailers are open. Now Dollar Trees have been open um, because they were deemed essential, but I have not been in a Dollar Tree for a couple of months. And so today I am headed out to Dollar Tree. everyone welcome to love and life's journey i'm chantelle and today i am going to dollar tree so the last time i was in dollar tree it was easter and the gardening stuff was just coming out now we have a lot of summer items and there are a lot of the like summer picnic type things these toucan ice cube trays are super cute and a lot of just fun summer colors. There were also a lot of the water and beach type toys. So uh, if you're looking for toys to keep your kids occupied this summer, check out your Dollar Tree. There were also a lot of graduation decorations and I know a lot of graduations aren't happening, but there are quite a few alternative activities or events planned. So let me know in the comments below what kinds of alternative graduations are happening in your area. We were supposed to be in Ohio this week for my daughter's college graduation, but that obviously wasn't happening. And she was feeling a little down, so her husband planned this impromptu graduation over Zoom. We present to you the diploma for graduating from Central Ohio Technical College Ultrasound uh, Technology. Congratulations. <laughs> Obviously wasn't her real graduation, but it was fun and it lifted everybody's spirits. So Dollar Tree starting to get 4th of July items in as well. And of course, since Mother's Day is next Sunday, they have lots of Mother's Day cards. I love these that are uh, just high quality cards for just a dollar. And I haven't ever seen these in Dollar Tree before. These cute little jars with the little lids, like little apothecary jars. Uh, I love these iridescent ones, so pretty. And this is the first time that I have seen these letter boards at Dollar Tree. I don't know what the quality of them is, but that's kind of a neat new product. And maybe Dollar Tree has had these in the past, but I don't ever remember seeing them. It's a little chair that you put a pool noodle through, and then you can have a floating chair for your pool. So let me show you what I hauled. First is some birthday gift bags. Dollar Tree is the best for gift bags, so I picked up a couple of birthday bags. And they had some really pretty bags. I think these were kind of out for Mother's Day, but like this bag could be used for a lot of different occasions. I love the bicycle and the flowers. It's so cute. As well as these bags, and they all had some type of either like glitter or a uh, foil accent on them and these were just really beautiful really really high quality looking they're beautiful gift bags but I think you could do some really neat DIY projects with them as well and of course I picked up a couple of Mother's Day cards one for my mom and one for Chris's mom these are the cards that are a dollar each. They do have other cards that are 50 cents each, but these are just really nice, higher quality. I also found some wall decals that I hadn't seen before. This family decal is really pretty. It's got gold lettering and the botanicals, and it's just really, really pretty. And then there was this love sticker with the black lettering and the florals. And I think both of these I could do some really cute DIY projects with. I believe these are new. I was excited to see these. And they are poster stickers, but they are colorable. And you can color them with markers or colored pencils or crayons. But I really liked the font and, you know, I think you could probably even paint them in if you wanted a solid 
a black letter or use a sharpie maybe even but um, or leave them just the way they are I really like these it was funny I picked out these three wall art pieces and it really wasn't till I got home that I realized how well they all went together but I thought they were really cute very farmhouse this one says bless our home and all who enter the first one just said gather and the last one says be grateful always and I, I really like these just the way they are I was very happy to find some of my bolero facial wipes I really like these and they're such a great deal for 30 wipes for a dollar and I think they work great for removing makeup not waterproof so much but regular makeup so I was really happy because I was getting really low and I really like the size and style of these baskets and I hadn't seen them in the clear before so I was happy to see these I got them um, just for some miscellaneous storage and organization and let me show you one thing I do with these baskets they are great for storing ribbon in because you can put your rolls of ribbon in there and then just pull the ends through the holes and it keeps them all nice and organized and easy easily accessible I saw that Dollar Tree had these bamboo skewers and these are the really long ones there are 12 in this package and they are really long just to show you how long I got my tape measure out and measured them and they are 32 inches long and these are great for craft projects and you get 12 of them for a dollar I happen to see these barbecue pork rinds my husband really likes these so I picked up a couple bags of these too I also grabbed this little love sign I thought it was cute the word love is raised above that and could be removed and so I think I might remove that and use it for some sort of a DIY project in the crafter square area they had this cute little chalkboard not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this but I'm sure I'll come up with a plan Dollar Tree also carries zip ties I got the white ones in a 60 pack and black as well these are the shorter ones they also carry longer zip ties and of course I just had to have that little green iridescent apothecary bottle I just fell in love with it I did pick up a few 4th of July items I picked up this sign I liked the shape of it I think I'll be painting over it and remaking it into uh, maybe a different style and I picked up these two hanging decor pieces one that has the red white and blue stars and the other one says USA and I do plan to kind of deconstruct these and use the pieces for other projects I also grabbed this little metal decor piece I thought it was very cute it has the metal flower a red white and blue and then it says God bless America on the sign and I thought that was real cute I was surprised to see that my Dollar Tree still had these windmills and they actually had a lot of them so make sure you're looking and watching your Dollar Tree because they might just have them in and if you missed my farmhouse DIY that I used one of these windmills in that I posted just a couple weeks ago I will put the link to that in the description box below the last couple of items are kind of random I got this pink feather boa to finish off the flamingo pinata that my daughter and I are making I'll put that video in the description box below as well and then this was just really random and strange and I just had to get it it looked fun it's called bubble and they are just these little 
animals, creatures that are really squishy. And I thought it would make kind of like a good stress ball. But this is a fish that also looks like a pineapple. And I thought it was just kind of fun and cute. So I picked that up too. I'm just going to call this a result of quarantine. But it is actually kind of a good stress reliever and uh, kind of fun to squish. So and has these little like hidden charms inside of it. And so anyway, it's kind of fun. And they actually had a lot of different styles and creatures and colors of these. So that's it for my post stay at home order Dollar Tree haul. And I actually think I did pretty good. I got some fun things, but I didn't go overboard and didn't buy too much. So that was good. Let me know in the comments if you have been able to go to Dollar Tree during this time or um, if there are any of these products that you've seen in this haul that you'll be watching out for at your Dollar Tree when you are able to go back. So a couple of thoughts now that I'm back home, you know, it was uh, kind of strange being in Dollar Tree because I actually have not gone into Dollar Tree for almost two months. and. So actually I haven't been into a store for almost two months. So it was just kind of strange, uh, you know, seeing the marks on the floor, everybody wearing masks and um, trying to stay six feet apart and all of that. But it was actually very nice to go into a store and have kind of that feeling like, you know, we're gonna get back to normal or some sort of normal, but we're going to get past this. And so I just wanna encourage you all we will get past this and I know some of you are, are having hard times and you know it's it's rough and I just want to encourage you keep going try to stay positive find people that you can confide in and um, let's just lift each other up and encourage each other and we're gonna get through this so thank you all I appreciate you watching. I appreciate all of you who have subscribed and I just love my Love and Life's Journey community. So thank you so much. I hope you all have a blessed day.